Good day children. I am teacher Brinal Dabre. Hope you all are keeping in good health by the grace of God. I am happy to connect with you once again. Today we shall study history chapter 5. Mass media and history. Introduction to mass media. What is mass media? mass media it contains two words mass and media mass means aggregation of people it means cluster or formation of people and media means various modes of communication it can be television telephone mobile computer newspaper or internet using social media apps therefore we can say Mass media means mass communication. It means, in other words, people communicating with one another using different modes of communication. We can easily send information to anyone around the world using the different modes of communication. This is how we communicate in this 21st century. But how would the people in the olden days communicate? So during the olden days, a crier would run in the streets beating drums and crying out important news according to the orders of the king. So um, this crier, he would especially come and stand in a crowded place or in a common place where people would meet and there would be a particular person who would be the messenger for the king and he would read out the orders or the news that the king had to give to the people. This is how communication was done in the earlier times. Then the news would spread among the people who were present there by word of mouth that is by speaking to the other people. History of Mass Media Printing technology and newspapers were introduced in India after the arrival of the British. Britishers, they came to India in 1608. Then we started printing of newspapers. And till then, the old method of where the messenger would carry the news was carried out. Afterwards, people started receiving news through newspapers and newspapers became the first mass medium of circulating information and knowledge among people. Newspapers Newspaper is a publication which circulates information and knowledge among the people. It mainly prints news, editorials, people's opinion and other contents. It is distributed regularly at a definite time. We all have delivery of newspapers at our home. So newspaper becomes an essential part of communicating with the people. Not only about the political and social issues, but also deals with entertainment and current affairs. So it is also a way where people can make their opinions known to others. You have a column in a newspaper that is letters to the editor where people can raise up their voices or certain concerns or give their opinions which they want to share with others. Newspaper provide local, national and international news. They are historical documents which record current events. How is it that it becomes a historical document? It, be, it is because tomorrow, today is going to become yesterday. So it is going to be past. And when you are writing down certain events that have taken, in, taken place, it is a way of recording what has happened. And recording the things that have happened becomes the past later. And this is how newspapers they are a way of recording historical documents or events newspaper is also said to be the fourth pillar of democracy the other three pillars of democracy are legislative 
executive judiciary and the fourth one is newspaper in the recent times many newspapers have introduced e newspapers precursors of newspaper precursors means forerunners that is before so let's see before the newspapers how the news were conveyed in egypt there was a custom of placing inscriptions with royal decrees at public places inscriptions means writings and royal decrees means official orders so these writings would be placed at public places and emperor ashoka he also followed the similar method to reach out to his people in the roman empire decrees they were written on papers and then it was distributed in all the regions it also contained the information of various events that were taking place in the nation and its capital so slowly it was not only the orders or commands of the king that were given to the people but it also recorded the daily happenings or the events that took place and were given out to the people to read during julius caesar's reign newspaper known as acta diuna which means acts of every day they were placed in public places in rome to convey the royal commands in the 7th century ce royal dictates they were distributed among the people at public places in england handouts were distributed that would give information on important events and wars then again travelers those who were arriving from far away places during their stay at rest houses they would spice up the stories of those places and then they would narrate it to the local people there were some kings who posted their ambassadors at various places and this ambassadors they conveyed important news of their region to the royal court let's study about the newspapers in the pre independence period bengal gazette this newspaper was started by an irish gentleman named james augustus hickey it was the first english newspaper of india this newspaper bengal gazette was named later named as calcutta general advertiser and it was started on 29th january 1780 darpan this newspaper was started in the year 1832 in mumbai bal shastri jambekar was the editor of darpan the news that were printed in darpan were about the political economic social and cultural events of those times earlier we saw that the news would be only about the commands and orders of the king but later uh, various aspects of human life were included and communicated to the people here are a few of the events that were reported in darpan it reported about the account of the expenditure of the east india company secondly the danger of the russian attack on india was also reported in this newspaper remarriage of hindu hindu widows was also reported 
the achievements of rajaram mohan roy in england was also reported in this newspaper the inception of theater at calcutta in inception means the establishment of theater which took place at calcutta was also reported and it also reported about the appointment of a committee for cleanliness of the society bai shastri zambhekar he was the first editor of the first marathi newspaper so his birth date 6th january is observed as mahar observed in maharashtra as the patrakar din that is journalists day prabhakar this newspaper was started by bau mahajan it published the news of history of french revolution and also about shatapatre that is the letters of gopal hari deshmukh also known as lokhitwadi it aimed at creating social awareness let's gain more knowledge about shatapatre gopal hari deshmukh also known as lokhitwadi he published more than 100 letters in bahu margins newspaper prabhakar in 1866 these letters were collected and compiled into a book and was published the book was titled shatapatre there are in total 108 letters which discussed about the social political religious and cultural conditions of those times do lokhitwadi he praised rich indian traditions he did not hesitate to criticize the superstitions and the conservative nature of indians at large we come to know from shatapatre that he worked for social reformation nyanoday this newspaper it has the honor of printing first illustrations that is picture in an indian newspaper it printed the maps of asia in 1842 and of europe in the year 1851 the other news that were printed in the newspaper was about installation of telegraph it also printed the news about beginning of railway services in india under the title chakya mahasabha which means mahasabha with wheels the news about the indian war of independence of 1857 was also printed in nyanoday the newspapers in those times they were important medium of creating social awareness let's see about the next newspaper that is indu prakash this newspaper indu prakash it supported widow remarriage in a big way next newspaper is dinabandhu it was started by krishna rao bhalekar who was a close associate of mahatma phule and this newspaper it represented the masses of the indian society that is bahujan samaj now who are the people who are included in bahujan samaj they are the people who belong to scheduled castes scheduled tribes other backward castes and who belong to religious minorities so this newspaper it threw light on the conditions of the bahujan samaj in those times kesri and maratha this newspapers was started in the year 1881 by gopal ganesh agarkar and lokmanya tilak this two newspapers they indicate an important stage in the history of indian newspapers before independence let's see which areas this newspapers covered 
they published articles about the prevalent social and political problems it described the condition of the country which led to social awakening the newspaper kesari it also began to publish about the nationwide situation about the books in the native languages as well as about the politics in england and it also created discontent among the masses against the british rule in the 21st century the newspaper continues to provide news to the people and fulfill an important role and hence it was acknowledged as the first fourth pillar of democracy magazines and journals these magazines and journals they are two types of periodicals now what are periodicals they are the magazines which are published at regular intervals they are known as periodicals so these periodicals they are issued at regular intervals and they are categorized as weekly biweekly monthly or bimonthly quarterly six monthly or annually so they are published either weekly or biweekly or monthly or bimonthly maybe quarterly six monthly or annually now let's know more about periodicals a periodical is anything that comes out with regular issues a daily newspaper a weekly news magazine a monthly journal and an annual book series these are all examples of periodicals a journal it is a periodical based on necessity anyone working in a particular field generally subscribes to them they can be described as reference books in installments articles are generally written by experts in the subject then what is a magazine a magazine is a periodical with a popular focus aimed at general public and containing news personal narratives and opinions articles are written by professional writers magazines they often have lots of eye catching illustrations so some of the popular periodicals are time news week front line outlook femina the week etc there may be some chronicles which are published at no fixed time chronicle means records which are published but there is no fixed time for publishing those news now about early magazines bal shastri zambhekar he started the first monthly magazine in marathi which was known as digdarshan pragati it is now a defunct journal defunct means it is no longer existing it was started by triambak shankar shezwalkar in the year 1929 then marathi journals like bhartiya itihas ani sanskruti and marathwada itihas parishad patrika these are the periodicals which devoted which were devoted to indian history in the present times now till here we saw how print media that is newspapers magazines journals periodicals they played an important role in communicating to the masses the information on all aspects of human life let's see further how history plays an important role in other mediums of 
mass communication. We will study about electronic or digital journalism. This electronic or digital journalism is practiced using mod ultra modern technology like the computers and the internet. Then web news portal, social media, web channels, YouTube, they provide historical contents to the readers. As we are in the 21st century, we see development in technology. We get to know or see the articles and news not only through the traditional methods, but we come to know more about the world through the various electronic and digital journalism. E-newspapers At the beginning of the lockdown, many of us did not opt for a copy of newspaper. So in that case, we preferred e-newspaper. In the recent times, e-newspaper has got prominent place in Maharashtra. Why is it so? Because we can get an access to this anywhere. It's not necessary for us that we need to turn on the pages like we have do for the copy of a newspaper. In an e-newspaper, news comes in sequence and not in accordance with importance like it is printed in a newspaper. We have to click on the news headlines that we want to read and then it appears on the screen in detail. There is a place provided to express the opinion of the reader. The Hindu and Kesari became the first English and Marathi e-newspapers respectively. Presently, almost all newspapers have their digital edition that is e-newspapers. Radio We started with our first private radio company known as Indian Broadcasting Company IBC. But since the Britishers were in India and they found it to be useful, it was taken by the British government and named as Indian State Broadcasting Service ISBS. However, on 8th June 1936, it was renamed as All India Radio that is AIR. After independence, all India Radio, it came under Information and Broadcasting Ministry of Indian Government. Initially, All India Radio, it broadcasted governmental programs and schemes. Later on, a famous poet named Pandit Narendra Sharma, he suggested the name Akashwani. Akashwani broadcasted various programs related to entertainment, creating awareness, literary programs. There were also special broadcasts for the farmers, workers, the youth and the women. We also have Vivid Bharti that is aired in 24 regional languages and 146 dialects of Indian languages. Recently, private radio stations they have also started like Radio Mirchi and uh, many more FM stations and they are providing radio services. In British India, the first English news bulletin was broadcasted on 23rd July 1927 from the Mumbai radio station of the Indian Broadcasting Company IBC. Later on, the Kolkata radio station of IBC started a news bulletin in Bengali. 
now we come to everyone's favorite part of mass media that is television the first president of india dr rajendra prasad he inaugurated delhi doordarshan center on 15th september 1959 Mumbai Doordarshan was started on 1st May 1972 and color television it was started on 15th August 1890 sorry 1982 and the private channels were started in the year 1991 we know that newspapers as well as the radio has played an important role in communicating to the people in giving information to the people in providing entertainment to the people but yet television has been far more superior in doing both not only through audio but also visually it has become an integral part of our daily lives it started with doordarshan your parents might have spoken about how they had only one channel when they were young but now you have a variety of channels and you keep on flipping from one channel to another as you get confused with more number of options available thus indians were able to watch the events that are taking place in foreign countries as well as in our country because the government had given permissions we have seen so much about mass media and history and how they are interlinked but do you really think we require mass media of course we really do why do we need mass media to facilitate free flow of information to all strata of the society what do you mean by all strata of the society it means all levels of the society people belonging to the lower classes higher classes rich people poor people they all need to get information so there is so there should be a free flow of information editorials various columns and supplements are essential parts of newspapers so whenever you buy a newspaper you find that there may be a separate supplement given in between which deals with entertainment section or talking about only bollywood hollywood something that deals with only job vacancies something that is going to be beneficial for humans etc to avail a platform to the readers to express their views and opinions and make the democracy stronger we have already spoken how the newspaper has turned into the fourth column of democracy although television plays a significant role in providing information through audio visual means but still the newspaper stands to be the most reliable source of information and it also strengthens democracy because people can voice their opinions they can give letters to the editors which could be printed out if their views are strong enough to change the ideas and opinions of people and the government at large a television shows visuals and images it overcomes the limitations of newspapers This is the only advantage which the television has over the radio and newspaper where we can actually see the images videos that are taking place people can share their experience and therefore it has crossed all its limitations people who cannot read will not find the newspaper to be useful by using a radio they can only hear with television you have both you can listen as well as you can see so far there is no other alternative to television for watching an event as it actually happened
critical understanding of the information received through mass media. In the first two lessons, we studied about historiography, how important it is to make sure that the documents that we receive, the artifacts that we find, the remains that are there are authentic and we have to make sure that is that it is in original piece similarly when we speak of the information that is received through mass media it also needs to be reviewed critically you need to check it properly news or the information in the media may not represent the exact truth Many a times we say that media is making a hype of certain things. Now why do people say these things? It is because they know the truth and when media is exaggerating the truth or maybe spreading some fake news which is not authentic, it is essential for the people to have judgment of what is real and what is not real. And we need to scan it very carefully. Then regarding the authenticity, there is a very famous event of unauthentic information which appeared in a print in Germany. They have given an example of Stern which was a German weekly magazine. It had purchased a number of so called handwritten diaries of Adolf Hitler and sold them to various publication companies. The diaries were verified for their authenticity and later proved to be forged. Forged means fake. It became apparent from this example that we need to be very careful about the information that has been published by the media. So when we are exposed to certain media articles, it is very important to make sure that we authenticate whatever proof that we get so that we are not wrong or we do not misjudge what is happening. Mass Media and Professional Opportunities This part talks about how history can be used because it is linked with mass media and how you can make a career out of it. What are the professional opportunities for you young children especially now when you are searching for or maybe trying to find out what you need to do in life. So here is the medium and the professional fields that are available in a newspaper. The professional fields are editor, reporter, printer, photographer, writer, technician, computer operator and the office staff akashwani that is radio the fields the professional fields that are available it could be an office staff center head interviewer news editor technicians working in the studio it could be a manager etc then for television that is doordarshan the professional fields that are available is a journalist, news editor, cameraman, art director, light man, technical director, interviewer, artists, anchors, makeup man, etc. So these are the different professional fields which are available. We will see about history applied in mass media. First we will study about newspapers as a medium of mass media every day we want something new to read and the world provides enough information for that and the newspapers they fulfill the task of providing fresh news to its readers whenever a news article comes out it is very important to know what is the historical background of the event. At such times, newspapers, they have to resort to history. While reporting news in details, 
reporters try to compare it with parallel event of the past. When we are talking about the pandemic COVID-19, we see people are scared and the various situations people are facing today. Speaking of a parallel event, 100 years ago, there was a Spanish flu that had attacked the world at large. So keeping in mind all this, the reporters can compare the parallel events that happened in the past and the past event may be printed in a separate frame. So when we get a background information about a particular situation facing currently, we get better ideas and see what happened in the past, what are the mistakes people made and since we are facing it, what are the various changes or step, steps man can take for to change the situation for the benefit of himself and for the benefit of others. In history of man, there have been some events which stand out from others. So when it does complete a particular number of years, says, say for example 50 years or 100 years, in memory of that particular event that has taken place, the newspapers they print out an edition or an extra article on that event under the headlines 50 years ago or 100 years ago. If you are talking about an event that you remember, then you have to go back to history and see what was the significance of that event and then give tight give a little bit information about it to the current generation. In 2017, 75 years were completed after the announcement of Quit India Movement. On such occasion, newspapers highlighted the event through various articles, editorials, columns like what happened in history on this day. The knowledge of history, it is essential for writing of such types. So children, this is about newspapers. But even if you go to Google, you will see the logo of Google changes on some days of importance. And then when you click on it, it tells you what exactly that day commemorates. What does it remember in honor of whom? It plays a very important role because it helps the younger generation also to keep updated on what events have taken place in the past. We will now study the application of history. with regards to Akashwani as a medium of communication. History it is essential in planning the radio programs. So um, Akashwani it has preserved the recordings of all the speeches that were delivered by the Prime Ministers of India on 15th August. So that is what they have preserved it as a historical document. Then Akashwani it also invites historians as experts for discussion on various occasions like the anniversaries or of birth or death of national leaders or any anniversaries of any historical events etc. They also organize lectures on the contribution of various national leaders and along with organizing the lectures they also support it by historical information then like um, newspaper how we have 50 years ago 100 years ago 
similarly akashvani also has a program like on this day in history as an integral part of the daily programs of akashvani now next we will study about is television or doordarshan television channels they telecast the programs based on history and doordarshan and other channels television channels it helps in creating history among the people through the historical shows and serials um a large number of audience were attracted by the mythological and the historical serials लाइक रामायण महाभारता भारतिक खोज राजा शिव छत्रपति एक्सेट्रा सो व्हेन दे वर प्रोड्यूसिंग दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रोग्राम्स इट वाज वेरी नेसेसरी फॉर देम टू मेंटेन एक्यूरेसी रिगार्डिंग द प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द एनवायरनमेंट द आउटफिट्स द वेपनरी लाइफस्टाइल्स लिंग्वल एक्सप्रेशन एक्सेट्रा सो फॉर दिस अगेन वन नीड्स टू हैव a deep understanding of history of that concerned period there are also currently certain channels on television like discovery national geographic and history which have opened a treasure of global history to the audience it enables the people to view the historical and geographical wonders at home and to make such programs more entertaining some part of the serials are actually enacted by the actors such as the characters characters of heroic men and women maybe some sportsmen army chiefs etc then besides these serials about ancient monuments forts histories of empires and also about the history of culinary arts are watched by a large number of people with great interest so besides the serials whatever are shown mythological serials or uh, historical serials there are also serials which are shown about the ancient monuments forts histories of our particular empire history of a particular culinary art etc and these are also been watched by a large number of people people who have a very deep knowledge of history in the respective field are sought out in all the fields mentioned above that is they are found in all the fields mentioned above भारत एक खोज इट वॉज बेस्ड ऑन पंडित नेहरूज बुक डिस्कवरी ऑफ इंडिया इट वॉज अ सीरियल दैट वॉज टेलीकास्टेड बाय दूरदर्शन एंड इट हैज अ स्पेशल प्लेस इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडियन टेलीविजन सीरियल्स इट इज प्रेजेंटेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ नरेशन ऑफ इंडियन हिस्ट्री फ्रॉम the harappan period until the indian freedom struggle it was directed by sham benegal the serial was admired in all parts of india because of its comprehensive visual presentation and detailed research on social cultural and political history of india Stories about India's past and present were explained through dramatization and informative speeches. Pandit Nehru's perspective of looking at India, sorry, of looking at history and equally comprehensive visual presentation, these are the special features of this serial. your homework for this lesson 
you have to complete it in the notebook where you have been completing your assignments from the previous lessons first question is you have to complete the graphical description that is which are the four pillars of democracy question number two answer the following questions first explain the objectives of the newspapers second why do we need mass media third write a note on the role of newspaper in the indian struggle for independence question three is you have to read the given extract and answer the questions you need not write the extract in your notebook just copy the questions and write the answers for the same stay home stay safe thank you